Um, why do Kuz's biggest moments with this team seem to come when he's wearing pink? <laughs> that might be a question for Kuz. I'm not sure. Maybe it's his color. Um, he wears it well. Uh, it just feels more comfortable. I don't know. But uh, I'll take it. Um, in all seriousness, what did you guys do on defense? It looked like you made some adjustments in the first quarter. Um, what were what were those? Uh, do the coverage better. Do it harder, honestly. That was it. Uh, I thought we were a little late at, at first, you know, a little uncertainty, but better level of communication, uh, better commitment to just being on time, and that helped us. You know, we, we, it's not ideal to always have to put two on the ball. There were times we played them straight up and just, you know, kept size on them. But just that balance of off, on, maybe, maybe it kept them guessing, I don't know. But um, it was effective. And what can you say about Kuz's night? Say again? What can you say about Kuz's night? I had a hell of a night, honestly. <laughs> That's a, it's a big time effort. Um, and for the most part, I thought he did it on both ends. So it's, um, you know, it's a great thing to see the commitment on both ends. And the ball was moving you know, specifically in that second half. You know, I know the, getting up the threes was you know, it's been an issue for us. We were able to get up 20. I thought the vast majority quality threes in that second half. It's a good sign. I think Dallas had the number one three-point defense coming into this game. So yeah. how did you guys break through? I just thought we were more aggressive attacking the paint. And they struggled a little bit you know, defending the paint, and that helped open up the three. And uh, it seemed like Jordan Goodwin was uh, the, the closing point guard tonight. What earned him that opportunity? Well, you know, it was a combination of things. He, he, he defended well, and it was more the synergy that that group showed. Uh, I just liked that pairing out there together. Um, so it's credit to him. You know, he played extremely well. Did some good things offensively, attacking the paint, driving and kicking. Uh, defensively, with his his size and, and um, uh, level of aggression on the ball was was good. But it was more, I think, the the five in its totality that I liked best. Coach, who uh, got the defensive belt tonight? Gaff. Gaff got it. With their uh, on the challenge that you sent, I guess. What's the calculus there to still kind of early in the game? But just momentum. You know, just one of those plays where it's always feel. And, I, you know, at times it's it's a very risky one, but you're up, you know, I think 12 at that point. Um, and it was, you know, there was certainty from the staff that it was a legal block. So just go with my gut and, you know, it worked out. For Kuth, he was saying on the broadcast that, He's been pleading for you guys to run the offense through him, I guess. How long has he been <laughs> asking? In? Uh, probably a year and three months. No. Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, there, there's a balance of that. You know, I think when we're whole, um, there's, a, there's a different flow to the offense. And I think, uh, to his point, he's effective in certain areas. He was really good in the post, and it, it, draw, it drew a double team from them, which opened up you know, some of those threes. Uh, so I think there's a place for it. You know, I think there's also got to be balance of post pick and roll, driving kicks, catch and shoots. You don't want to just play through a certain spot on the floor. I think eventually it'll wear itself out and they'll start to figure it out defensively. So I think just that balance of, but late in the fourth quarter was effective. So we just kept going to it. Wes, we all know how even keeled you are, but given what that you guys won this game with as many people out as you did, to what degree could this be a launching pad type of win? I hope so. I mean, it, it, it's a character win. It's a gutsy win, however you want to characterize it. Um, never ideal to be down uh, a few players, especially the you know two guys that really do a lot for you offensively. And you know we, we really came out and moved the ball. I thought uh, we're over overly efficient. You know, especially second half um, offensively. Um, and, and as far as the process. So it's a credit to our guys, and they uh, struggled with the concepts early in the game. But that mindset of, you know what, we just got to do it harder and do it better. And we stayed with it. So I give them a lot of credit for that. Kuz, what was working well for you tonight? Everything. <laughs> no, just playing. Um, <laughs> uh, I, just, I just got a, a good rhythm right from the jump. Um, you know, I just really just set my, set my attentions on, on the night of just trying to be aggressive. Um, trying to score first and then, um, you know, find my teammate second. And, um, you know, uh, me having that mentality, I think it, um, it really allowed myself and my teammates to, um, you know, just, just, just be in the present. And it was good. They started really hot from three. What changed for you guys on defense? 
Um, you know, um, they started out really hot. We had our game plan. It was kind of starting to look like the Nets over again, you know, with a couple of doubles. And, and we didn't do a good job of, of rotating, being there, being in the right place. And um, I think we just cleared it up. And then as the game got long, um, kept going, we did a good job of just the attention to details of things. And um, it helped uh, prevail a win for us. Luke has been on a tear this year. How'd you guys hold an eight for 21 with five turnovers? Um, we just did a good job. We we know that you know the, their team is very limited outside of him, and you know obviously with Christian Wood out, uh, a big time player, the ball was going to be in his hands the whole time. So you know for us, we wanted to make sure certain situations, whether it was him posting up, making sure we we're doubling at the right time, and then our rotations were really Chris. And then on top of that, when we didn't double. Playing them on the perimeter, allowing ourselves to one guard one on one without fouling, and then <clears throat> being uh, um, just playing uh, playing with on a string defensively, and uh, that was huge, especially with a player like that. If you just play one on one with him on an island, it's going to be a long night. But we did a great job. The entire team, everyone came in, attention to detail to the game plan, and um, really zoned in on, on what we were trying to accomplish. Jordan Goodwin closing tonight seemed like another step forward for him, another taking advantage of an opportunity. What have you made of uh, what he's done lately? I mean, um, it's pretty obvious that he's he's really hungry. He's really hungry to play basketball and be an NBA player. And um, I believe he is. You know, um, you know, he, he's just a kid, a tough kid, has a chip on his shoulder, comes from nothing, and um, you can tell how he plays. You know, he comes out there every night, <clears throat> plays hard as he can. Um, he's in the gym in practice. He, pl he, he does the same thing in practice. He plays hard in practice, too. So it's just good when <clears throat> you can see teammates and you can see their struggles and where they come from and um, how they just seize the moment. And he's a prime example, and it's, it's, beautiful, it's beautiful to see, honestly. Rui, what were you able to um, take advantage of, particularly in the third quarter? Oh, uh, you know, um, I think uh, I think defensively, I think we had a good straight down the stretch. Um, we were doing a box one, and I think we were able to frustrate Ruka, uh, Luca, and uh, you know, we just uh, just made other players, you know, make a plays and stuff. And I think that was a that was a key. Uh, the third quarter, I think we had a good. Good run and yeah, offensively, you know, we had a we had a moment. We were shedding the ball and you know it was a it was a good yeah. You've been having a really solid season with that second unit. Was it easy for you tonight to remember like, oh yeah, I started for this team for you know two years. It's, it's I can step into these big moments. Yeah, you know I that's what I did. You know my, like you say, you know my first two years, you know I was a uh, I was a starter and uh, I was finishing the game. So you know it was nothing you know new to me. You know I just. Uh, I knew how to close the games and, you know, uh, how to be patient and uh, uh, when to be aggressive and stuff. So, yeah, I think uh, today was a good game. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's what I do, yeah. How would you describe the uh, the layup you had, the up and under Ooh, off the pass? It was Kuz? nice. Yeah, I saw it <laughs> after the game. I was like, oh, my God. I mean, yeah, you know, um, sometimes I practice, like, you know, the – Layups like that, you know, for just to you know mess around. So you know, this yeah, it was yeah. I was actually you know impressed by that, but you know yeah, <laughs> I do. I, I actually practiced that, so you know, <laughs> so yeah, I think it was good. It was a good finish, yeah, for sure. Um, an another game where you reached double figures. I think it's ten out of twelve games. Just what do you attribute your consistency to? Um, you know, just stay aggressive, and you know, especially I'm trying to find a spot right now in the second unit. You know, we. Um, we're a little bit struggling offensively, so you know um, that's the. Uh, I was trying to be aggressive and like you know make plays and stuff. But yeah, I think the defensively, I think we did a good job today. So yeah, we gotta keep keep doing that.